First look at the new features of Pixel Experience ROM running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the new features of Pixel Experience ROM because finally they have decided to add some customizable features to this ROM. As you can see right now, I am running the May 8th build on my Xiaomi Poco F1. The first change you will notice is in the quick setting style. So if we go and edit these tiles, we have a few new tiles which have been added. The new tiles which have been added are caffeine mode, pop-up notifications, sync, live display and reading mode. These are the new tiles which have been added. To add them to your quick settings panel, press and hold and drag them to the quick settings panel. We just dragged and dropped reading mode and now if we access our quick settings panel, we have reading mode in the building. Let's now go into settings and then we will go into display to see the new options. The first thing you will notice is live display. This is a new feature which has been added and I think Lineage OS was the first custom ROM to implement this feature. You can customize your display. You can change the color profile to standard or say if you want RGB, you can use that. You can have more customizations for the display mode, whether you want it to be automatic, which will change the color temperature based on time of the day or you can say always use day or always use night options once you choose your display mode you can also customize the color temperature of live display then you have the option of enabling or disabling reading mode you can also calibrate the colors so you can change red green and blue using these sliders and you can also adjust the hue saturation intensity and contrast of your this place. In my humble opinion, a pretty nifty feature which Pixel Experience has decided to add. The next new option in display which they have added is notch behavior. So either you can choose to hide the notch, in which case the notch area will not be used for your status bar icons, or you can choose to keep the notch as default. Now, if you use the notch as default, then you will have another new option which is full screen apps. Over here you can choose what all applications you want to use in full screen and this is especially good for playing games because the display will wrap around the notch if you enable that game or application in this option. The next option which they have added is pocket detection so the screen and the buttons will lock if the phone is in your pocket. Then tap to sleep so double tap to sleep on the status bar or lock screen to turn off the display. Next in device theme, they have added the option of automatic change the device theme based on time of the day. This is a new option, the automatic time of day. Other options like automatic based on wallpaper, light and dark are already in pixel devices. So they were already there. And you also have the option of changing the color accent using this color theme option. Right now it is set to default. We can try orange, UI will restart and bam, we now have orange accents. Let us now move over to sound and see what all new options we have in sound. So right off the bat, you will notice that you can now have different ringtones for SIM 1 and SIM 2. Previously, there was the option of only one ringtone, in which case you had to use the same ringtone for both the SIMs. Then you have the option of toggling the sound for screenshot. So if you enable or disable this guy, it will or will not make a sound when you take a screenshot. Then you have fingerprint authentication so if you have a successful fingerprint authentication your phone will vibrate and you also have vibrate to indicate call status in which case if you are calling somebody and it's just ringing once it connects your phone will vibrate a little bit the next new changes you can find them in system and here you have two new options buttons and status bar let's first go into buttons you have the option to disable the power button on the lock screen using this toggle. You have the option of using the power button as a torch for long press of power button using this toggle. And once you enable this guy, you will have the option to automatically turn the torch off after say one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes or never. You can choose whichever one you are comfortable with. Then you have customizations for the volume buttons. 
if you want to wake the device using the volume rockers you can enable this toggle or if you want to long press the volume buttons to change your media playback you can use this toggle then you can also invert the layout of the navigation bar so right now you can see that the back button is over here on the left and the recents button is on the right if i enable this toggle they will swap positions the back button is now on the right and the recents button is now on the left going back we'll check out the status bar customizations we have so you can choose to disable the status bar on the lock screen then you have the option of quick pull down if you change this to right and then pull down from the right hand side your quick settings panel will be expanded bam there it is and if i pull down from the left hand side it's normal it is not expanded then you have what all icons you want to see in the status bar you can customize all those icons from here using these toggles the next new feature you will find is in settings system and then gestures and you will see swipe to screenshot so this is your three finger swipe for screenshot if you enable this toggle and then three finger swipe bam we just took a screenshot so three finger swipe for screenshot is working absolutely fine so that will do it for this video peeps these are all the new features which were added in pixel experience rom if you want to check out the other features of pixel experience rom or you want to learn how to install pixel experience rom on your xiaomi poco f1 i have a separate video for that which is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you <laughs>